What is up you guys? How are you today? So today we are trying out a bit of a different thing. We're doing some makeup um, and this company is called Stay Golden Cosmetics. Now first let me tell you a little bit about the company from their About Us page. Um, so they are best known for their glitter lip kits, which we are going to try today. It says that Stay Golden Cosmetics is owned and operated by Island Girls in the Caribbean. Um, and it says that their founder, Jamaican Danielle Dans Edmund, was born and raised in Jamaica by her mom and grandmother. She was signed by a local model agency, Pulse, and served as co-captain for Jamaica's national basketball team before migrating to New York for college. While in college, the nickname Dans stuck. Though modeling opportunities led to her to South Africa and Zimbabwe, Danielle became intrigued by the artistry surrounding beauty and fashion. Realizing her skill set, Danielle, Danielle went on to establish Dan's Distributors LLC, the parent company for all her brands, including us, Stay Golden Cosmetics. So now you know a little bit about the company. Um, so what we are going to be trying are their glitter lip kits. We have four different colors to try today. We have um this one's just called stay golden it's just gold this one is burlesque we have honey which is this nice pink we have galactica this is the last one we have and it's like this really cool sort of galaxy thing um so i guess we're just gonna dive right into it i kind of want to go lightest to darkest so that way maybe taking it off is a bit better also i did end up getting their kiss proof eraser um it says indelible 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 makeup remover um they said it was pretty good for getting it off and i wanted to test that because we all know how hard getting glitter is um now the thing that really made me want to try this company is that they swear by their smudge proof formula they say if i put this on and i eat pizza i ain't gonna get glitter on that pizza and i just i don't believe it so i really am excited to try today so we're gonna start with golden and then go to honey then burlesque and then galactica so let's go ahead and read our instructions it says start with dry lips apply the gloss bond to your parted lips one at a time uh, once the gloss is clear dampen the applicator and use it to pick up the glitter gently pat onto your lips to completely cover the gloss bond um, it says tips are line your lips uh, to remove use an oil-based makeup remover and that is it they do say they are cruelty free and vegan so we always like that um, so I'm going to open these up what you get is you get a little thing of glitter which that's fun because we all know how messy glitter is um, and then we have our applicator, which is a brush and also like a spongy eyeshadow sort of thing. And then our uh, gloss bond. So I guess I need something to wet the applicator with. So I'll be right back. So I have our applicator here and I've gotten some water in a little, little jar. And I guess we're just gonna dive right in. So dry lips and it says to apply this to the parted lips one at a time does that mean like put it on one do glitter on one and then do it on the other oh no we're gonna have both at the same time so first we're going to apply it now it's white it smells terrible Okay, and then we wait for it to clear. Okay, so I have it on. It smells terrible. It smells like glue. And it, it might just be glue. Alright, so it has gone clear. So I guess I'm going to dampen our applicator. Do we use the rush or the sponge? I use the sponge. Uh, damp our applicator. Ah! Look, let's check together. And I'm going to put it in the glitter. I'm going to put it on my lip.
So here you can see I have got it on. It's really weird. I definitely made a whole mess. That is my uh, like top complaint is glitter is everywhere because the glitter falls off the applicator when you're trying to put it on. So you'd probably need to do it over the sink or something or like have a hand down here to catch the falling glitter. Um, so it's really pretty. It's very pretty. I really like it. It's very nice. Um, I'm gonna let it dry for a second before we test its like durability because I really just don't believe that it's not going to leave glitter on everything I touch. Um, and it doesn't say to put anything. It just says gently pat onto your lips to completely cover. It doesn't say to put anything back over it to seal it. Anything like that. So, um, yeah. I think I definitely got a little bit on my face during this. Also, there are some parts of the gloss bond that I just could not get some glitter to stick to. And therefore, it's kind of like sticky. So, like in the corners of my lips where I couldn't really get a bunch of glitter, it's just kind of sticky. My lips kind of stick together in those areas. But it's really pretty. I mean, it's, it's very eye-catching, very pretty. I just... I don't even know like like it's just great so it's been on there for a few minutes but like I said just those little edges are just really sticking my lips together but let's try it and see if it transfers okay there's a little bit of glitter on my hand not a lot just a little just a little so pretty good pretty good let's try it on this clean napkin Again, only like a couple little flecks of glitter. That's kind of impressive. Um, I think... Hmm. I mean, yeah. So, like, any that you kind of got on the edges of your mouth or got too much in one place, I tried to, like, rub over to try and get all the glitter to settle in. I mean, for the most part, it's just on my lips. Like I said, just a little bit comes off but not like a ton so I wouldn't really call it like kiss proof or like you're not gonna get glitter in your pizza you might get a lot less glitter in your pizza now I guess we need to see if this kiss proof eraser is gonna take this off all nice for us or if it's gonna be a mess so they are in like pads so you would have to like buy more it's not like a solvent or anything but here is just one of the little pads it's like pure oil it's like It's really just making a mess. Okay, so first up, this makeup pad is just like insanely oily. Like greasy, greasy, greasy. But I got one of my makeup wipes, which is the Avena Calming Skin, and I'm just gonna see. I think I've gotten the majority off. It's off of my lips, pretty much. Definitely there's some glitter in my mouth. Um, but you can also, first of all, I did leave kind of like a sticky residue on my lips. I couldn't get it completely off. Uh, and also, like, as with working with any glitter, it just kind of smeared all over my face and got glitter all over my face. There's still, like, some flecks over here and stuff that just, they're not coming off. So... Of course, you're working with glitter. It's really messy. It's really annoying. I'm not a huge fan. I really hate these wipes. Uh, they're just super duper greasy and they're so small that like you just end up getting glitter all over your hand anyway. So like what's the point? <laughs> um, but let's go ahead and try our next color which is Honey. Okay now wait now. This one has a lip liner. This one has a lip liner. Did the other one have a lip liner? I swear to God there wasn't one in it. Okay, yeah, for sure this one didn't have a lip pencil. So I don't know if some of them have a pencil and some of them don't or if that one just didn't. <sighs> okay, but let's go ahead and do the next one. I hate this gloss bond. I'm gonna be, ugh, okay. Let's 
do it again. Now we're gonna apply this one. This one's kind of like pink and reddish, sort of. See, it's really just hard to cover your lips. Like, it's just, your lips are so sticky. Okay, so I did use the lip liner and I put the glitter on and again it was really messy and my lips just feel like really dry and like they're been glue on them. They don't feel great. Um, I do agree that the lip liner helps it look a little more controlled, but they're real. it's just really hard to make it not look messy. Um, again, let's, you'll see there's still like some glitter flecks, not a lot, but some. So not entirely kiss proof. Um, I do think it's really pretty. Again, it's just, it's such a hassle. I probably would just keep these around for maybe like parties, um, special occasions, things like that. But this is not something I would want to wear out to the grocery store like they, they say and all that. Um, but let's go ahead and try this one. I'm not gonna use the oil this time. I'm just gonna try and take it off with my normal makeup wipe. Again, there's just glitter in my mouth. There's so much glitter in my mouth, I'm eating glitter. It's just insanely uncomfortable. There's just a bunch of freaking glitter on my face because the oil thing, while it breaks the glitter up off of the gloss bond, it doesn't actually pick the glitter up to take it off. It just like oils it down and then you have to like get in there with like a regular makeup wipe or like a piece of toilet paper or something just like rub your freaking mouth so and there's still glitter just all over my face like it's just it's insane it's in my mouth it's on my teeth I'm not happy but I'm gonna continue with our next two I don't know why okay um since that one was almost kind of red we're just gonna skip over burlesque because I just I can't do this two more times. This is madness. I will try this Galactica though, because it did look really pretty online. Um, and then this will be the last time I freaking do this to my face. Liner, check. Gloss bond, check. Okay, so this is probably one of my favorite colors out of this. Um, but again, I just really hate the gloss bond formula. The glitter is all over my face. It gets everywhere whenever you're putting it on. It's just, it's not easy. It's not quick. It's not clean. Um, at this point, I'd rather just buy some lip gloss that had some nice black and blue flecks and just put it on and go about my day. Because, I mean, while this looks very cool and very trendy and, like, really pretty, it's just so much of a hassle to go through. So, I'll probably just keep them around for, like, really, really special occasions. But, really, it's just so messy. The gloss bond, this formula, is so sticky and drying and gluey. It's just... It's not for me, so I'm going to give them a thumbs up on color, on aesthetic, on prettiness. It's very pretty, but I got to give them a thumbs down on formula and clean, clean cleanliness, I guess. It's just really so much of a hassle to go through. Like, this is not something I would want to wake up and do every day. This is, I actually wouldn't even want to wear this for more than like an hour. That's just how much I hate this feeling on my lips. It's so drying. I'm going to have to do a lip mask after this. I don't know. I, I'd like to try some of their not glitter formulas, maybe. Um, if that's something you guys would like to see, let me know in the comments below. But on this, this lip kit, I, I have to personally give it a thumbs down. I would not spend $20 a kit and go through all this hassle when it's just, it's not worth it. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's go ahead and open up our prize from our prize box. Feel around in here. The 
Okay, this feels weird. We have a Hot Pups. What we have is an eraser and it's just a puppy. He's a puppy eraser. He's very cute. He will stay at my desk and be a puppy. Um, but yeah, so that's it for today, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you thought of this. Maybe you thought it was worth the hassle. Maybe you thought it was pretty enough to go through. I just personally, I really hate this formula. I really hate it. I want it off my lips now. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. And if you liked me, be sure to follow me and subscribe for more content. You can catch me on Instagram at countrycat186 and also on Twitch at countrycat186. But yeah, so comment down below what your favorite color was. Comment down below if you liked this. Comment down below if you have anything you would like me to review. Um, but that's it for today, you guys. I hope you guys had a good time. Love you guys. Bye.